Pony, welcome to the 150 subs Q&A special. Although I'm a little behind now, because I actually have 151 subs, but can you blame me? I've been dealing with a lot of crazy stuff over here lately. So with that in mind, let's not waste any more time and just jump right into it, as Phil DeFranco would say. I'm going to be reading from top to bottom on the comments, just to make things a little easier for me. The first round of questions come up from my friend Nick Lewis, and he asks, What topics, old episodes, theories, or subjects would you like to cover that you haven't gotten to yet? Would you rather like to see a prequel series involving the equestrian of ancient times of this gen, or a sequel series taking some place years later? Any thoughts on any of the creatures we only get to see a handful of times in, in the show? Yaks, buffaloes, mentors, and whatnots. Huh. Well, that first question is actually a lot harder to answer than I thought it would be. Mostly I just think of the topics and subjects for Pony Talks as they come to me. I've got quite a few planned out already, and I'm sure more will pop up here along the way. As for old episodes, maybe one day I'll go back and review the very first episode. Other than that, yeah, I can't really say. Sorry. As for which series I'd rather see, I'd like to see a sequel series, honestly. I think one focusing on the CMC as their order would be really interesting. See how their cutie mark uh, business grows and changes, and heck, maybe they become the heroes of Equestria. And, of course, could always work in new characters in that series, too. So, yeah, I think I'll go with the sequel series. As for what species I'd like to see more of, I'd like to see more of the Minotaurs. They really haven't gone much into their lore, so it'd be interesting what their society is like. Next up is my buddy Left Turn, and he asks, Who is your favorite WWE wrestler? Which celebrity would you most like to see on MLP? Are you enjoying your new mic? Where exactly is your and Mooney's room in the castle? And which brony would you like to collaborate with the most? Well, I'd have to say for favorite WWE wrestler or superstars are supposed to be known, I'd have to go with the rated R Superstar Edge. I got into wrestling right when he was a lower mid-card guy with the brood, and I really liked his look and the evil grin he could give. Seriously, I still think he could make a really good Green Goblin or Joker. Couldn't be any worse than Jared Leto. So yeah, it was fun to see him eventually ascend and get into the main event scene. And really sad he had to retire due to injury. But well, it's better than him being paralyzed. Speaking of wrestlers and injuries, I'd say my second favorite have to be Mick Foley, just because of all the stuff he put his body through for our entertainment. Seriously, go read his first autobiography. It is insane! As for which celebrity I'd like to see on MLP, well, I was hoping we could get John Hurt as Star Swirl the Bearded, but... Obviously, that's not going to happen now. The other one I was thinking was Christopher Titus, just because I think that would be funny. I kind of wanted to see him as Rainbow Dash's dad, but again, obviously that's not going to happen now. But hey, maybe he could be Rainbow Blaze. And yes, I am enjoying my new mic. It's very nice. Why do you want to know where our room is? Actually, I'm still trying to find my way around this castle. Starlight's been a big help, but yeah, I can see how she could get lost very early on. There's just no way all this should be able to fit in that tree. This place is confusing! As for the brony I'd most like to collab with, I'm going to go with the obvious answer and say Silver Quill. Then he'll pay. Next set of questions from Popman1997. What are other shows you're thinking of talking about besides MLP or Legend of Zelda? What was your inspiration for Spiderette? Heard from Day Tripper? They say you can hear him in the distance if you listen close enough. Thoughts on Onyx the Dragon actually being evil? Well, I have been making my way through Godzilla the series recently, so I might have a video about it when I get through all of it. I've also given a lot of thought to doing a History of Power Rangers style retrospective on the Batman. And there is one other series I'm thinking of talking about. Oh, wow. Well, I really didn't expect a question about this. Honestly, my inspiration for spider ad is the same as the inspiration for all my original superhero characters. I really like the characters of Marvel and DC, but I really hate what they've been doing with them recently. And by recently, this was like 2011 when the New 52 and whatever event Marvel had had just started. So yeah, it's been a while. Basically, I just realized even if I somehow got to live my impossible dream of writing for one of these companies, I would be shoehorned into doing all their stupid crap. So I figured I'd take the concepts of my favorite characters, and make my own versions, and do whatever I want with them. Of course, right now, that's really amounted to a few stories here and there and some art jams over on DeviantArt. Yeah, but still, I'm enjoying them. 
Actually, let me ask you guys a question. Would you like to see more quick videos like that of art from my other superheroes? Uh, yeah, I guess I really should go look for Day Tripper. Just, again, been sidetracked from my own weirdness. As for Onyx being evil, I was surprised, and yet somehow not surprised. Oh, apparently Empress Batty wants to take him out, so as a wise man once said, let them fight. And let us get to the next round of questions from DJ Silverwing. If you and Mooney had a child, what would you name it? What does Birdie think about the anthro look of Silver Fox? Have you seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bronies video? If you ever wanted to voice my OC in the future, what accent would you give him? Wow! Gee! Ask a personal question, why don't you? Well, no, uh, I guess we could go to that fusion idea and call it Moonbird? Or maybe Black Moon? Or if the kid has her coloring, it could be Bluebird? But it's not really something I'm thinking about right now. Well, I guess I'll answer in Birdie's stead, and it looks interesting. No, I have not seen those videos. And lastly, I don't know. Okay, next question is from Jack the Hero, and he asks, Do you think it would be a good idea to have a villain like Dio Brando in the show, and do you think he'll get very far in whatever plans he came up with if he are put in the show? Ah, next up is Pat Rex 11 who apparently doesn't have a Tumblr, so I don't know where I got that idea from. Huh, weird. Anyway, he asks, what is your favorite film, and can you do any decent impressions? Transformers the movie, bar none, favorite film of all time. I love this film so much that I'd rent it every single time my mom or dad and I went to a certain grocery store that rented videos. Because, yes, that used to be a thing that would happen. Grocery stores would actually have a video rental section. They got very annoyed with that very quickly. But, man, I loved it, and I still do. It also has one of the best, most 80s soundtracks ever. As for impressions, kinda? It's less impressions I do, and more people's vocal inflections and tics whenever I quote them or get into a certain frame of mind. Of course, again, being put on the spot kind of makes my mind go blank about trying to do any of them, so maybe you'll see those later. Or hear them, rather. And our final question comes from... Okay, look, I'm going to be honest, there's no way I can pronounce that name. Sorry, man. But he asks, what are your top five favorite shows? Oof. Wow. That is a toughie, because that can change from year to year. Or, heck, sometimes day to day. But if I had to narrow five down right now, well, let's see. In no particular order, obviously MLP, Transformers Animated, Spectacular Spider-Man, Scrubs, and... You know what, I'll go with the current Flash TV series. I'm really enjoying that. And that was all the questions of this question and answer special. I want to thank you guys for submitting them, and of course, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to me. I know 151 subs doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, it's far more than I ever thought I'd actually get. I know I'm the small fish in a big pond, and I'm never going to be the most famous brony reviewer, analyst, whatever it is I do out there. And again, I'm sure I'm going to be quickly forgotten as soon as all this is over. But as I said before, right now, you guys make me feel like my stupid opinion is actually worth something. And for that, I can't thank you enough. And I hope you'll continue to stick around for whatever crazy hijinks are coming up next. And of course, more pony talk. Until next time, I'm Blackbird, and I'm back, baby! You say you wanna make